Hey friends, I am Catherine and today I am going to be showing you uh, making the cover from this acrylic pour that we did the other day with this goldfish um, and then the text block that we bound just yesterday uh, that I showed you the making of. So now we're going to make this text block into a book with this goldfish as the cover. Um, to that end, I have got some chipboard cut to the size I want the cover to be. You can probably tell just by lining it up. I've got a bit of overhang there. That's exactly what I want to have. This actually could even be a little bit narrower, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but I've got overhang to the top and bottom and to the, the front side and none to the back. And that's gonna be important because this is actually going to line up a little bit that direction, which is why I'm saying this could be a little narrower, but it'll work out. It'll all be fine. Um, so let's set our text block aside. We just made this the other day. It's got, let's see, it's got, one, two, three, four, five, uh, five signatures with five pieces of paper each, which is 25 pieces of paper or 50 pages. So this is a 50 page book. I know, thin, isn't it? You can get really cool, thin, multi-paged books uh, using a press and some glue. Um, but so what we're going to do is we're going to glue each of these sections down with the spine section in the middle and we are going to space them using a popsicle stick so they're going to be very close together i might even want two popsicle sticks worth of space although one i think should be fine mm. let me take and grab a second one and see what kind of width the second popsicle stick would give us. Yeah, no, we'll go with one popsicle stick. One should be fine. The width of one popsicle stick in between them. And we will glue it all down to the back side of this pour that we did the other day. Then we will take and fold all of our edges in. We've got plenty of space around the outside to have extra fold over on that paint. So you won't be able to see any of the brown paper that we poured on. And then we're going to adhere our text block in. And actually, before we do anything with that, let's grab a little bit of duct tape. I know it's not strictly um, the most popular method, but I like using a little bit of duct tape just along the spine of my text block before I glue it in. I feel like it adds just a little bit of extra strength to the whole shebang and makes everything stay just a little bit more together. But that's everything that we need. friends is at its heart and before all else how books are made it's got a goldfish on the cover we might come back through and draw in some details on him or we might not who knows um but it's got a goldfish on the cover it's got a poured acrylic on all sides including down the spine it's got a nice complementarily colored cover page and 50 pages inside and 
If you do notice the stitching on the center of one of the signatures, it is a complementary color as well. You can't even hardly see it down there. But I'm going to take and stick this book back in my press for another day or so to let all of that glue dry. And that, well, that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, let me know. I would love to hear from you. Um, have you ever made any books yourself? I would love to hear about that as well. And remember to subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow because I put up a new video every day. So, see you later. <laughs> Bye.